On a previous episode of The Zoo Files, we showed how a team of German scientists brought the latest technology in reproductive biology to determine the breeding viability of southern white rhinos here at the North Carolina Zoo. Today we continue the story as zoo senior veterinarian Dr. Ryan DeVoe explains how the German team used the latest techniques in artificial insemination to increase the potential for breeding rhinos here in Asheboro. During the Germans' first visit to our facility, they evaluated all the rhinos that we hold for the reproductive capabilities. And what we found is that our bull rhino that we hold is not a good breeder. So that led us to pursue other avenues for achieving pregnancies in our animals. So samples were collected from bull rhinos at other facilities and brought in to impregnate our rhinos here. We actually identified two bulls who were good matches for our particular animals. The procedures went beautifully, the animals came through it great, they're all doing fine now, and we'll probably have a decent idea about whether or not any pregnancies have occurred in 60 to 90 days. Captive reproduction of white rhinos in North America is exceedingly important if this is a species that we want to continue to see in zoos. Despite the recent technological advances, artificial insemination for exotic animals is still in its infant stages, yet it provides the best hope for some captive species such as rhinos. If you'd like to learn more, please check out our website at nczoo.org. Reporting for the Zoo Files, I'm Rod Hackney, connecting your life to wildlife.